Welcome back to the DISCO, FDA's Drug Information Soundcast in Clinical Oncology, First Edition, brought to you by FDA's Division of Drug Information, in partnership with FDA's Oncology Center of Excellence. Today, we'll provide a quick update on a recent FDA cancer drug approval. On April 5, 2024, the FDA granted accelerated approval to famtrastuzumab durux tcan nxki brand name in HER2, for adult patients with unresectable or metastatic HER2-positive solid tumors who have received prior systemic treatment and have no satisfactory alternative treatment options. Efficacy was evaluated in 192 adult patients with previously treated unresectable or metastatic HER2-positive solid tumors who were enrolled in one of three multicenter trials, Destiny Pan Tumor 02, Destiny Lung 01, and Destiny CRC 02. All three trials excluded patients with a history of interstitial lung disease pneumonitis requiring treatment with steroids or interstitial lung disease pneumonitis at screening and clinically significant cardiac disease. Patients were also excluded for active brain metastases or ECOG performance status greater than 1. Treatment was administered until disease progression, death, withdrawal of consent, or unacceptable toxicity. The major efficacy outcome measure in all three trials was confirmed objective response rate, and an additional efficacy outcome was duration of response. All outcomes were assessed by independent central review based on RESYST version 1.1. In Destiny Pan Tumor 02, objective response rate was 51.4% and median duration of response was 19.4 months. In Destiny Lung 01, objective response rate was 52.9% and median duration of response was 6.9 months. In Destiny CRC-02, objective response rate was 46.9% and duration of response was 5.5 months. The prescribing information includes a boxed warning advising health professionals of the risk of interstitial lung disease and embryo-fetal toxicity. This review was conducted under Project Orbis, an initiative of the FDA Oncology Center of Excellence. Project Orbis provides a framework for concurrent submission and review of oncology drugs among international partners. The application reviews are ongoing at the other regulatory agencies. This review used the assessment aid, a voluntary submission from the applicant, to facilitate the FDA's assessment. Full prescribing information for these approvals can be found on the web at fda.gov slash drugs at FDA. Healthcare professionals should report serious adverse events to fda.gov slash medwatch. Follow the Division of Drug Information on X, formerly Twitter, at FDA Drug Info, and the Oncology Center of Excellence, at FDA Oncology. Send your feedback via email to fdaoncology at fda.hhs.gov. Thanks for tuning in to the Disco Burst Edition.